As the last ice age drew to a close, the vast glaciers began to melt, and the low-lying valleys of mainland Australia were slowly consumed by the rising tide. However, mountain tops and ridges loomed high above, defiantly resisting the encroaching coral sea and leaving behind a chain of breathtaking islands. Nestled in Nauru Sea Country are 74 continental islands called the Whit Sundays. We've been here before aboard our sailboat Nakama, and while she rests after an enduring sailing season, we have returned. But we're not alone. Cheers, guys! We've been up here for weeks. What happens when you put four scallywag YouTube channels on one multi-million dollar catamaran in the Wit Sundays? You're about to find out. Oh. Yep, we are here with three other YouTube channels. It's an all Aussie extravaganza. Yeah, we've got, we've got a baby. So, without further ado, let me tell you a little bit more about the crew. Guys, there's going to be a bunch of shameless cross promotion in this video, I think. Is. <laughs> this is Ryan from Sailing Sunday. Unfortunately, we are missing the better half, Brittany, but Ryan will just have to do. I love chocolate. <laughs> After sailing the Mediterranean, Ryan, Brittany, and their dog Jackson took on the Atlantic. You can now find them cruising the Caribbean. On top of boat life, these guys somehow managed to raise and rehome foster animals aboard Sunday. Their stunning Beneto. On you guys. Saving a life, you just can't beat it. It's the best, the best feeling in the world. Next up, we have Jace and Janae from Leading the Escapade. Should we try and get the spa working? Funnily enough, their first ever sail was here in the Wit Sundays aboard another Portland Roads catamaran, Ruby Sunday. This must have spa to fire because after just one week aboard a Portland Roads vessel, they worked their asses off to buy themselves a sailboat of their very own and have been cruising the Med ever since. I guess it's good to throw yourself in the deep end sometimes and it's the best way to learn really. And last but not least, we have Christina and John. There's got to be a point where we go, we can't go back. From Christina's travels. And John's. Once a journalist, although you probably can't tell. That goat has really big cojones. <laughs> yes. Is now a YouTuber. Yeah, that's like my right. We know COVID wasn't a good time for pilots. And John being one, suddenly had a lot of free time on his hands. So decided to give sailing a go. They purchased their boat to Kana in Melbourne and like us have sailed Australia's east coast but also chucking in a small detour to Greece. Like in my mind I just envision envisioned us sipping on coconuts and like sitting on the sand the whole time. Oh and did we mention we had never met any of these guys until now. Whether we turn out to love or hate each other one thing is for sure We've got to spend the next week with them, stuck on board Portland Roads Catamaran Wit Sunday Freedom, a Lagoon 450, hopping from island to island and exploring above and below the surface of this majestic landscape. So let's get on with it. Welcome to episode one of Wit Sunday Wonderland, the mini series. Stay tuned to the end for an amazing deal. Yeah. <laughs> we are here. We are stoked. So here we all are at the airport. After flying in from all ends of the globe, we're about to jump on the midi bus that's been patiently waiting for our arrival to take us to the doorstep of our new share house. Thank you. Thank Welcome back. Feels like we're back home and we've brought a bunch of stragglers with us. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, they brought us. <laughs> we're the blow ins. <laughs> 
just leeching along for the ride. <laughs> First impressions, it's just huge. This is wicked. I'm so excited. Okay, so it's very exciting to be back. We were on this boat about a year ago and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with Sunday Freedom Lagoon 450. Very exciting with, with a whole bunch of new people that we've never met before until this day. But we love them already, so it's going to be a great week. We do actually feel like we know them all because, like us, they all post videos to YouTube. So there's going to be a lot of cameras around for the next couple of days and we're having a fun time meeting each other, although we feel like we already know each other. Tonight is all about settling in, putting our provisions for the week away cheers, and cracking cheers. a celebratory bevy for pulling off this get together. But we can't go too hard because tomorrow is a big day. Mutual respect builds better pathways. This morning we are joined by Uncle Harold who is hosting a welcome ceremony for us. You may have heard us refer to the Whit Sundays as Naro Sea Country. Within the ceremony, Uncle Harold explained to us how the Naro came to be. As the sea levels rose in the region, not only were 74 islands formed, but members from two tribes were forced together, forming a new indigenous identity, the Naro Sea People. Here we are taking flora from both Gia and Guru country, merged with seawater to represent these new formations. Although we all live on boats, not one boat is the same. It would be absolutely foolish of us to think we could take this bad girl out without first having a comprehensive rundown on her systems to ensure it's nothing but safe and smooth sailing. We are doing what is called a bare boat charter, which means we are going without a skipper. So Brad is giving us a full rundown as he won't be aboard the vessel to manage it. So we've had a welcoming ceremony with Uncle Harold and we've had a quick briefing with Brad and we're going to start getting ready to push out. Yep. Yeah, we're all on. We are off. I can remember this feeling from last time. We are obviously ourselves incredibly excited, but it's it's really quite special. Last time we shared it with Olivia, but it is quite special to be sharing it with like a full crew on this vessel. And I think the next couple of days are probably really going to pay homage to how many people you can just comfortably fit on this thing. The amount of space on this vessel when we're all comfortably living with all the creature comforts of regular life but on the beautiful ocean and Great Barrier Reef. So we're gonna put the space, space to test this week, which is cool. But I, I think we'll hardly test it. Each of us have our own cabin with an ensuite bathroom. Yep, we even have a shower, which is completely out of the ordinary for us. Fuck a shower! Ah! That feels so good. Jace and Janae have done a full boat tour, so if you want a closer look, keep your eye out on their channel for that. That's good, mate. As we all have mono hulls, none of us have really sailed a catamaran before. Things are a little bit different, but sort of the same. But we thought while we still had Brad on hand, we would get a wee lesson out of him, especially because she's a little bit windy today. And we would rather not ride off this boat. It feels hectic. <laughs> it feels more hectic back here, because you can feel it flying around everywhere. You can probably tell that we're not used to the feeling of sailing on two hulls. It's a completely different movement. Yes, man. Although it was great fun having Brad on the boat, Ryan wasn't keen to share his bed, so unfortunately we had to give him the flip. The boat is now entirely under our control, so let's see how fast this girl can go. The best 
thing is, we've just been able to jump aboard and get her up and ripping. You boat owners out there can probably relate to how good it is to not have to do any of the mundane pre-departure things, like refilling gas bottles, doing our routine engine service and check, a trip to the fuel wharf, or fixing any of those pesky broken things that may even prevent you from departing. But we did not need to be redoing the plumbing. It's a true holiday to be able to sail her away without thinking of any of these things. What have we got? 20 knots, good direction. It's nice to be back on the east coast. Where are we going? We are going to the side of Hook Island, to an anchorage we've never been before, which is really quite cool because there's a few little nooks and crannies of the Sundays we've not yet explored and this is one of them. So. We are actually up and hooking. Last time we were on this thing we couldn't get it going because there was not enough wind. Today we have 20 knots of wind and she is flying. Watching the water gush between the two hulls is literally insane. This is where I'm gonna stuff up my Nah, this is what you'll execute it. <laughs> Perfectly. I'm used to diving monohull, so that's gonna be my excuse. Yeah, yeah. We've all got that excuse. We all share that excuse in common. It's a pretty quick trip from Airlie Beach out to the islands. This is where all the fun is to be had. <laughs> First sail down, eh? First sail down. First beer. First beer is begun. Cheers, big ears. As we jumped off the boat, the tide changed, causing a wind against current situation, which won't make for a great sleep. So as you may have noticed, there's a whole bunch of us on this boat. And currently, Christina's stepped up to helm position. What are your first thoughts? Um, I'm myself. <laughs> yeah. Christina, being the only one who hasn't cracked a bevy, is now on skipper duties to take us just around the corner to Stonehaven. Yeah, I completely feel out of my depth, to be honest, but um, I love it that you all have faith in me. So much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll touch base in a bit again. <laughs> yeah, like, we'll touch yeah, base yeah. when we're on the reef. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll touch base when we're touching bottom. <laughs> but with the help of John's directions. Yeah, that way! And Ryan not helping with the throttles. That was all you were. <laughs> Christina brought us in safely. It's actually a special day for Christina, not just because she proved to be more than capable of helming this huge catamaran, but, well, we'll let John explain. I think it's um, something to do with the sun. <laughs> it's a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, it's our 16th anniversary. It is our 16th anniversary. That's loose. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And what have you not done? Well, the guys were saying, oh, we should pop a bottle of Prosecco. And I just said, I've never popped a bottle of champagne in my entire life. Have you lived? <laughs> I, I think that's today's mission. Yeah. You know what you're doing, can you? No, I have no idea. No one, no one gives her, it's gonna give her any tips. It's your 16 year anniversary. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. It's on the Formula oh. One stand. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. You literally be like, <laughs> just, 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 just Can I shake it a little bit? You got no. Jump, no. That's right, yeah, man. They go up. They're not too It might be really fun. <laughs> Happy anniversary, guys! Happy anniversary! 
the bubbly afternoon turned into a burglary evening. And then morning came round. But something felt a little different. So we have absolutely no control over what we're doing today because leading the escapade are completely taking charge. We've got Janae on the helm. How are you going? <laughs> it's on auto. <laughs> I'm not doing much. <laughs> so I believe we're heading to Little Black Island. It's just a couple of miles off from Stonehaven where we spent last night. But if you want to catch how these guys went completely taking charge of the boat, check out their channel. It will all be over there. We were informed to get into our dive gear. And then to get in this boat. All right, we're in. And head over to this ledge. It was a bumpy ride, so Christina got put to work bailing. <laughs> Who knew a flipper could be so handy? Speaking of flippers, we found this guy who has four of them. We love Little Black Island. And while I feel like I could stay here forever, enjoying the beach and hanging out with my flippered and feathered friends. I've just spotted two massive eagles in the top of this tree. I really hope you can pick it up, but they are just stunning. Eagles are such cool creatures because they're just big birds that are kind of scary. <laughs> they're, they're just looking at me like going, what? Do you want? <laughs> the skippers have spoken and we are being dragged back to action stations to set off for a new bay. We're pretending we know what we do we're doing, but we actually don't. Yeah. <laughs> We've picked a mooring. There is Sometimes it's hard when there's so many options, but we've just we've come to a, we've come to a decision. Come to a conclusion. Yeah, I think it's that one over there, but the boat's going in this direction, so maybe the decision's changed since I went to fetch my stick. Oh, yep, straight on, slow down, neutral. Slow. Neutral. 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 Good job. Yeah, I'm just standing here with my teeth. <laughs> and encouraging. <laughs> Good job, well in. <laughs> Did anyone want a spearmint tea? <laughs> Everyone just looked at me like, no, we don't want spearmint tea. I said to Christina that I would have a mojito, basically peppermint tea, basically. <laughs> Folks, you guys are liking too. Check These out guys are so Sweet. cool, and I'm so sunburned. They're but, legitimate, but they're very Look cool people. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're, having, we're having a great time. It's small chaos with all the cameras, but we like chaos, chaos. in our lives. Look at the amount of cat turning around. <laughs> you bloody YouTubers! <laughs> Look at the ball. I love it. Yeah. Do you guys even put hey. videos on the internet? Are you guys even inside? Nah. The other guy went that way, eh? <laughs> Oh, it's a billy goat! Look at the billy goat! It's got a beard! It's got big and it's got balls big balls! Big balls! Big balls! In their natural habitat. <laughs> no, sorry. Christina <laughs> has announced that she can actually do a Siri voice, <laughs> and I've been waiting this whole trip to hear it. So I don't know when it will happen, but I will assure you that I'll capture it <laughs> when it does. That goat has really big balls. <laughs> <laughs> That is surreal. Is that is surreal. Like that sounds yeah, crazy. Does. That goat has really big cojones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They think you're like a news announcer. Or like, <laughs> We've just come to this beach and it just feels quite surreal being back because we weren't expecting to be back on the east coast for quite a long time. For a very long time. It wasn't our for expectation. For a very long time. And we would not expect to be back here with, with all these, of people these people on that such a beautiful we've never met until like two days ago but like 
they literally just feel like family like we're, it's just fine yeah <laughs> and yeah it was a, such a last minute thing and i just like can't believe that we're back here it's just so surreal to be back here yeah. it's just really nice we often remark on how effortless it is to connect with fellow boating enthusiasts but the bonds we're forming here feel especially easy it also helps that we have so much space we can creep off to when we need a breath of fresh air. But honestly, it's hardly been needed. Uh, yeah. Tonight, everyone is contributing to dinner prep. We're firing up and throwing some skewers on the barbie. Cheers. 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 Yeah, no, skewers. Cheers. Oh, hey, Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> Threaded a capsicum, tomato, and eggplant onto each of those sticks. Good job. Fine work. Oh. And we didn't have to go scavenging for sticks. Mm. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, so because Janae forgot to buy the skewers, she did Sorry. everything what? perfectly Come except in. getting yeah, the skewers. Right. I don't know. Um, oh, and so oh, we thought we'd go to shore and uh, get some sticks, get a sharp oh. knife, and sharpen the edges and make our own skewers. Hey, hey, nice. John, where did you find them? Well, I just whittled them down out of some trees I found in the forest. No, I just yeah. found them. With his bare yeah. hands. With my bare hands. <laughs> on a Swiss Army knife. No, where'd you find them? In the cupboard. Oh. <laughs> John uses them for unblocking the toilets. Alright, while we enjoy the food on John's hand whittled sticks, we wanted to let you know of the limited time deal that Portland Road Sailing the Wit Sundays are generously offering. With our code, you, our viewers, will receive a 20% discount when booking a holiday aboard any one of the catamarans in the Portland Road's stunning fleet. These catamarans work out great when you're splitting the cost with your friends. Most of the cats can fit up to four couples or are great for family holidays. While a lot of people think catamarans are for the mega rich, when you factor in dining out, hotel rooms, sightseeing tours and cab fares, chartering a Portland Roads catamaran has to be one of the most affordable holidays as your transport, sightseeing, dining and accommodation are all compact into one floating vessel and floating, mind you, in one of the most exquisite cruising grounds. But hold up, for our patrons that make each and every one of these videos possible, we've made a special code for you. Cheers guys, we'll catch you next week.